On today's show, we have the St. Martin de Porres statue, a set of Bougereau Christmas cards, and a Prayer for Life votive candle, here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello and welcome to EWTN Religious Catalog. I'm Emily Lasusa, and here we are in November already. This week in the church year, we've been reflecting on both the church triumphant, the saints in heaven, and the church suffering, those in purgatory. We, the church militant, can pray for those who are in purgatory and learn from the saints who have already fulfilled their mission of being united with God forever. The rosary is a sure means of drawing us closer to God when prayed devoutly. It's been referred to as a great spiritual weapon. And you can reflect on that when you pray using this beaded chain pardon rosary. This rugged gunmetal plated rosary is designed with beaded chain and features a miraculous metal center with a St. Benedict medal attached and it has a pardon crucifix. These three, the miraculous medal, the St. Benedict medal, and the pardon crucifix are each very powerful sacramentals when blessed by a priest. I'll explain a bit more about the pardon crucifix in just a moment. Countless saints would advise us that the Holy Rosary is a weapon of extraordinary power against Satan. The rosary is completely scriptural as we meditate on the joyful, sorrowful, luminous and glorious mysteries in the life of Jesus and Mary. I really like this gunmetal style for men in particular. This unique rosary is also available in gold, silver, and copper styles, and it has a great feel in your hands as you pray, and they are a great price. Check them all out on EWTNRC.com. Next we have a pardon crucifix, and it comes with a card that explains all the indulgences behind it. This is one of my favorite crucifixes. On the front, I-N-R-I is written out in Latin, Jesus Nazarenus Rex Judeorum, which is Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Just beautiful, and you can see all the ornate details on the front of this little cross. And on the back, I want to show you, is an image of the Sacred Heart and the words of our Lord from the cross, Father, forgive them, and the words, Behold his heart, which has so loved men, a reference to the words of Jesus to St. Margaret Mary. This crucifix is made of silver ox metal. The cross measures two inches long, and it can be hung from any chain that you already have or from your keys on a key ring. When blessed by a priest, the pardon crucifix is a beautiful and worthy sacramental that although no longer mentioned in the new manual of indulgences, was granted many indulgences for the living and the souls in purgatory by Pope Pius X in 1905. The included card contains an explanation again of all those indulgences. Well, you might be asking yourself, or you may have been asked the question, what exactly do Catholics believe about the afterlife? Well, here is a book and DVD special that might be helpful to you. When you purchase these two favorite Father Benedict Groeschel items together, you'll save 50%. In the book, After This Life, What Catholics Believe About What Happens Next, Father Benedict Groeschel asserts that we live in a death-denying society. Father masterfully explains how consoling and uplifting the truths surrounding death, judgment, hell, purgatory, and heaven really are. These topics offer us the opportunity to think clearly about death in order to live more fully in God's grace today. And in this DVD, the second of five Meditations with Father Benedict Groeschel. He discusses two of his favorite feast days, All Saints Day and All Souls Day. 
eloquently presented, these meditations are both inspiring and informative. The program lasts for one hour and it's contained on one disc. It has been closed captioned for the hearing impaired. The book and the DVD can also be purchased separately, but what a great savings we have for you in this special set. St. Martin de Porres is an important saint that we remember this week on his feast day, November the 3rd. He grew up in extreme poverty, the illegitimate son of a Spanish gentleman and a freed slave. He was treated terribly in his life as a person of mixed race. At the time in Peru in which Martin lived, he wasn't even permitted to become a full member of a religious community because of his race. Martin worked as a servant for the Dominicans and did menial tasks until the sympathetic prior of the community finally decided to disregard the law and accept Martin as a vowed member of the Third Order of St. Dominic. He received the holy habit and worked in the infirmary where he cared for nobles and slaves alike who came to the community for help. Martin was a great friend of St. Rose of Lima, actually. He lived a long life of love and service to all, a defender of racial justice who we can learn much from. Here is a new statue we have of St. Martin de Porres that was hand-painted in Colombia. You can see St. Martin wearing the habit of the Dominican order, which he so greatly desired to wear before it was permitted to him. He holds a broom that symbolized the many menial tasks he did with so much love for God. He has a bird on his arm, and at his feet are a dog, a cat, and a mouse sharing the same dish. Martin treated even the animals he encountered with kindness and gentleness. The statue measures eight and three quarters of an inch tall. Here's a St. Martin de Porres DVD and gift set, which would be wonderful for introducing the story of this saint to children in particular. You'll save 40% when you purchase the St. Martin de Porres gift set and this DVD, My Catholic Family, St. Martin de Porres, together. The beautifully packaged gift set includes a three and a half inch tall resin figure of St. Martin de Porres with a matching holy card. As well as being a defender of racial justice in his lifetime, he's also the patron of the sick and poor. The gift box includes the history of this saint with a prayer for his intercession. In the animated EWTN home video series, My Catholic Family, children meet a new saint in each episode and learn about growing in holiness. In this episode, a race to decide the best athlete in the school finds kids Martin and Sergio in a fierce competition with each other. The two look to St. Martin de Porres for help in accepting victory and defeat. The 30-minute episode is contained on one disc. There are English and Spanish audio options, and the program has been closed captioned as well. Here's a clip. Carry St. Martin de Porres with you with this tiny saint's clip-on. This whimsical clip-on caricature of St. Martin de Porres is made of a soft plastic material with a sturdy swivel lobster claw clasp. You can see St. Martin in his Dominican habit holding his broom with a dog at his feet. Tiny saints are great for backpacks, zippers, and keychains. They're regularly priced at $5 each, but quantities of three or more will be discounted to $4 each when added to your cart. It's easy to mix and match, believe me. Start thinking now about using these as stocking stuffers. They are perfect. On the day after St. Martin's Feast, we remember St. Charles Borromeo. He was a great Archbishop of Milan whose mission was to restore the integrity of the church, provide clarity and suppress heresies during the time of the Reformation. One story of note is that when the plague and a famine struck Milan, St. Charles used his own money to care for the sick and feed the hungry. Here's a St. Charles Borromeo laminated holy card. The prayer on the back reads, O saintly reformer, animator of spiritual renewal of priests and religious, you organized true seminaries and wrote a standard catechism. Inspire all religious teachers and authors of catechetical books. Move them to love and transmit only that which can form true followers of the teacher who is divine. Amen. 
So great to give maybe a Catholic teacher in a school. The card measures two and a half inches by four and a half inches and is made in Italy. We have hundreds of holy cards on EWTNRC.com. We probably have several options for each of your favorite saints. Be sure to go check them out. Now we'll move from the Saints of the Week to some Christmas items. Advent begins on November the 28th this year, so we only have a few more weeks to get ready. If you haven't already ordered your Advent wreath or a new pack of Advent candles yet, be sure to do so quickly. I'll be sharing some new ornaments that you're sure to love, but first, look at this olive wood rosary, and it comes with a special box. You'll see it has beautiful oblong olive wood beads with a lovely silver metal crucifix. The centerpiece features Our Lady of Sorrows. And again, the rosary fits beautifully in the olive wood box that it comes with. The top of the rosary box is a small 14 point star that contains a cloth that was touched to the traditional spot of the birth of Jesus in the grotto of the Basilica of the Nativity in Bethlehem. The olive wood box measures two and three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters of an inch by one and a half inches. It has a hinged lid with a magnetic closure. And again, it includes the olive wood chain link rosary. Both the rosary and the box are imported from the Holy Land. And this is a special olive wood nativity rosary, and it has a Holy Family centerpiece. It's made with five millimeter olive wood beads from the Holy Land and has a pewter crucifix and centerpiece. On the front of the centerpiece is an image of the Holy Family and encased on the reverse is a small piece of cloth that was touched to the very spot marking where Jesus was born. When laid flat, the rosary measures 17 inches and it was imported from the West Bank. What a special Christmas gift this would make. Well, it won't be long before we are sending and receiving Christmas cards. Make sure to visit EWTNRC.com to pick out your cards from the many gorgeous sets that we have for you this year. I love this boxed set of Bougereau Christmas cards. Each of these cards features a design originally painted by William Bougereau with a different quote and inscription used for each image. One of my all-time favorite images of the Madonna and Child is this one, the Song of the Angels. And this card includes Robert Louis Stevenson's A Christmas Prayer on the inside, along with the description, May the glad songs of the angels resound in your heart all the year. Glory to God in the highest. The L'Innocence card includes the beautiful greeting, May the blessings of Christ be with you now and throughout the new year. Merry Christmas. On the inside, there are also lines from the gorgeous Christmas poem, A Christmas Carol by Christina Rossetti. The Virgin and Child Christmas card reads, May the peace and joy of the newborn king be with you this Christmas. It also contains a quote from the Book of Wisdom. In the Madonna of the Roses card, it reads, wishing you peace, joy, and many blessings this Christmas and throughout the new year. On the right and on the inside left are the lyrics to the gorgeous hymn, Lo, How a Rose. The card Regina Angelorum, Queen of the Angels, says, wishing you a most blessed and merry Christmas season on one side, with lines from the Advent lyrics by Kinnewolf on the other. This set includes five five by seven cards of each design, boxed with 25 white envelopes. 
We also have a beautiful set of trifold cards that feature some of the individual images I just showed you. They're simply breathtaking to give and receive, and they can stand open for display. Each set comes with 12 cards and 12 envelopes. From the house of Fontanini comes this lighted Holy Family porcelain ornament. It's so delicate and lovely. This round porcelain ornament illuminates the Holy Family with a small LED light at the top. Each ornament is hand painted and measures three and a quarter inches wide by four and a quarter inches high by one and three quarter inches deep. The ornament requires three LR44 batteries, which are included and can be replaced. I'll show you how that works right here at the top where the string hangs. You just twist the top and the light comes on. This would be a very nice ornament to give as a Christmas gift, a hostess gift, or in an ornament exchange. And now I want to show you a whole new collection of stained glass, laser cut wood ornaments. They're each sold separately, but feature the same dimensions and specifications. They're printed using a special technology to create a smooth, glossy finish with a no paper, no peel exterior, and they'll last for years to come. Each ornament is an eighth of an inch thick and comes with a pre-tied satin ribbon for hanging. The ornaments are in the shape of an arched window and measure approximately two inches wide and five inches high. They're all made in the USA. This is an amazing and unique design of a crucifix with saints adoring. The Holy Spirit radiates from the top of the ornament upon the many saints gathered in adoration on either side of the crucifix, which is positioned in front of the stained glass image. What a beautiful reminder of Christ's love for us to hang on the tree. You can leave this ornament out all year and hang it from a cabinet knob or hook in your home. And the same could be said for any of the stained glass ornaments that I have for you today. If St. Therese of Lisieux is special to you and your family, hang this stained glass wood ornament with her picture on your tree. She's pictured smiling sweetly in her Carmelite habit, holding a crucifix and roses. St. Therese loved Christmas and she was deeply devoted to the Christ child. She would be a fitting addition to your ornament collection this year. This guardian angel stained glass wood ornament is a lovely one. You could hang it on your tree to celebrate the blessing of a new baby in your family, or to remember maybe a little one gone straight to heaven this year. The guardian angel is protecting this little dear one and all children in a way we do well to remember. Christmas is all about recognizing that Christ came to us as a helpless infant. And when we welcome a child in his name, we're doing something very great indeed. Perfect to mark the close of the year of St. Joseph is this St. Joseph stained glass ornament. It's made of wood, another great reminder of this holy foster father of Jesus who made his living as a carpenter. St. Joseph holds his staff, which blossomed into a lily symbolic of his purity. His hand rests on his chest in a gesture of humility. A lovely accompaniment to St. Joseph is this immaculate heart of Mary ornament. She too holds a tall stem of lilies in symbol of her purity from the moment she was conceived in the womb of her mother, St. Anne. Her eyes are cast downwards in humility as well, and Mary's immaculate heart is visible just above her hand. The words, Cor Maria, Heart of Mary, are printed at the very bottom. Our new Sacred Heart of Jesus ornament complements the Immaculate Heart one perfectly. They could be displayed right next to each other, front and center of your tree this year. I love the vibrant colors on all of these stained glass ornaments, and this one is no exception. Jesus gestures to his Sacred Heart, ready to pour out his abundant love and mercy on the world. The very bottom of the ornament reads, Cor Jesu, Heart of Jesus in Latin. A lovely stained glass image of Our Lady of Lourdes and St. Bernadette appear on this wood ornament. 
Maybe this is one of your favorite apparitions, or you've been able to visit Lourdes before and remember your time fondly. Hang this ornament from your Christmas tree this year. I love the blue tones of this particular design. These ornaments would make lovely gifts that you could easily mail to a friend or tie to the outside of a Christmas present in place of a gift tag. You can write on the back with a gold or silver pen to mark a special occasion as well. Christ's birth at Bethlehem is the very first step in the salvific mission, ending in the triumph of the cross. The resurrection is always in our minds, even at Christmas. So here is a resurrected Christ ornament. It features a lovely springtime background of flowers and brilliant blue sky. Christ opens his arms to beckon us into them and show us that sin and death have no power over him. What a beautiful reminder. Again, this ornament is so appropriate for Christmas, Easter, or for any time of the year. The mother of our Blessed Mother Mary and the grandmother of Jesus, Saint Anne, is pictured on this ornament. She's a wonderful intercessor for any mom or grandmother. What a lovely ornament for anyone devoted to Saint Anne, for anyone named after her, or anyone who maybe became a new grandmother this year. Again, each of these beautiful stained glass ornaments is laser cut from wood. They're each sold separately. Each one is an eighth of an inch thick, cut into the shape of an arched window, and they measure approximately two inches wide and five inches high. And again, all made right here in the USA. Here's a set of ornaments depicting the 12 days of Christmas. This beautifully boxed set includes one bell-shaped ornament for each of the 12 days of Christmas, each depicting the unique gift referenced in the popular Christmas carol for that day. Included with the set is a card that lists the items and it offers a corresponding alternative meaning for each of the numbered gifts based on the catechism. Each finely crafted metal ornament has a baked enamel silver finish, capturing the exceptional detail of each piece making this set a true keepsake to cherish for generations. Each ornament measures three and an eighth of an inch and comes with a red or green ribbon for hanging. My family celebrates the 12 days of Christmas, which only begin on Christmas Day. It's a tradition that I really cherish. This whole beautiful set that you see on this great background actually stands up with an easel back so you could keep it close by your tree and even hang one of the ornaments up for every day of the 12 days of Christmas as you progress. Just a special way to remember that Christmas only begins on Christmas Day. Our last ornament today is this new St. Joseph blown glass ornament. We love St. Joseph and this year of St. Joseph is coming to a close very soon it's only helped to spread devotion to him around the world. Celebrate the role he played in Jesus's life beyond the Christmas story with this fanciful ornament. It's custom made in Poland and detailed by hand with gold and glitter accents. It measures six inches tall by two inches wide. We have more beautiful blown glass ornaments on our website. Be sure to check them out. Finally today, Here's a Prayer for Life three-day votive candle. It's designed to burn for three days. It's encased in a sturdy glass holder with a print of a guardian angel protecting a child on the front. This is the same beautiful image from the stained glass ornament that I showed you. On the back is a beautiful prayer for life. The votive candle measures eight inches high by two inches deep and it's made with odorless paraffin wax. You can have your candle blessed by a priest when you receive it, and then it can be used as a sacramental. These candles were custom designed and created exclusively for EWTN. We have many more beautiful designs, including some Christmas candles, and you'll enjoy extra savings when you purchase three or more, so you can mix and match. Here's a recap of all the items we showed you today and the information on how to order them. Today we showed you the beaded chain pardon rosary in gunmetal. Item number P372R for 
The Pardon Crucifix with Card is item number 55CP for $4.95. The Father Groeschel Book and DVD Special is item number T679K for $14, a savings of 50% off. The St. Martin de Porres statue is item number 928A for $32. The St. Martin de Porres DVD and gift set is item number 5029K for $16.50. The St. Martin de Porres Tiny Saints clip on is item number H091 for $5 or purchase three for $12. The St. Charles Borromeo laminated holy card is item number 9144E for 60 cents. The olive wood rosary and box with Bethlehem star is item number 49NAT for $26.50. The Olive Wood Nativity Rosary with Holy Family Centerpiece is item number 74NAT for $16. The Bougereau Christmas Cards Boxed Set is item number STCC1 for $19.75. The Lighted Holy Family Porcelain Ornament is item number 56388 for $16.50. The Crucifix with Saints Adoring Stained Glass Wood Ornament is item number CSG21 for $6. The Saint Therese of Lisieux Ornament is item number CSG21. 2-8 for $6. The Guardian Angel Protecting Child Ornament is item number CSG40 for $6. The St. Joseph Ornament is item number CSG51 for $6. The Immaculate Heart of Mary Ornament is item number C. S G five eight for six dollars. The Our Lady of Lords and Saint Bernadette ornament is item number C S G two two for six dollars. The Resurrected Christ ornament is item number C S G three nine for six dollars. The Sacred Heart of Jesus ornament is item number CSG59, also for $6. The St. Anne ornament is item number CSG52 for $6. The 12 Days of Christmas ornament set is item number S103 for $49.95. The St. Joseph Blown Glass Ornament is item number F3557 for $47. The Prayer for Life Three-Day Votive Candle is item number CE20 for $3.95. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. Our website is safe and secure. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-854-6316. Call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. In the words of Mother Angelica, Let's make up our minds. Today, I shall be a saint. It's a challenge, 
and a great opportunity. I'll see you next time.